Hello, this is Reza from Radicad, and today I'm going to talk about the SQL Server Analysis Services connection. If you use it using import data, how you can add more fields to that, how you can edit your fields. Let's see how it works. SQL Server Analysis Services is a modeling engine in, um, in SQL Server tools that um, someone or a team, they can go and build a data model, a shared data model, and other report visualizers can go and use that shared data model to build reports and visualizations. Uh, using this type of connection, um, you usually have a server name, database name, and the default type of connection is connect live. That means if you use that type of connection, you'll see all the fields, uh, columns, and everything is related to each other. You just get the data and build the visualization. Uh, however, that model doesn't give you the flexibility to uh, bring uh, other data sources, combine it with that data, or uh, write calculations in form of columns and things like that. Um, it's not flexible for self-service use. So if you want to use it for self-service, you then might need to import that data. Now, if you use import, then uh, after selecting the import, you'll get a um, list of models. Under the models, you'll get uh, what we call attributes, which is more like columns and measures. Like here, you can see I have um, like uh, different attributes. I can go and select, for example, product category name from here. And from internet sales, I can go and select internet sales, which is uh, uh, a measure, and then load this data to do visualization, uh, like, like any other normal visualizations that you do in Power BI. Um, you just drag those fields and start building the visualization, which is very simple, um, like for example here, product category name and internet sales, I'll just build a column um, a bar chart using that, right? And you can see it is working perfectly fine. However, let's say after bringing it here, you realize that, okay, it's it would be good also to have product subcategory or even product itself. How you can edit it, how you can bring uh, more fields from that data source, or if you realize that something is extra, how you can remove it. You can, of course, go to the Home tab uh, under Transform Data. And under the Transform Data, you'll have the option to, uh, you have three different ways that you can actually um, do this change. Uh, in one of the steps you have, you should have a Added Items. You can click on the setting of that step and then you'll get to uh, added items option. So you can add, let's say, product subcategory name from here and select it there. Uh, there are other ways as well. Uh, in the top options here, cube tools under manage, you would be able to uh, add items from there. Or even under the table selector, you can select here and add items. All of these add items are quite the same. You can choose any of these. And as soon as you select it, you'll be able to add more fields uh, into this. The only thing you have to be careful is that uh, fields that you are adding should be kind of related to each other. Uh, otherwise, it might create like a cross join scenario, which I might explain that in another video. Uh, and that's it. You add all everything that you want and then close and apply. That will be also added in the list of your uh, your columns and then you can use it in your visual. In this case, I can use it for uh, slicing and dicing even further under bikes, I see these or under accessories, I see all these different types of accessories. So here you go. This is the way that you can add more fields or edit fields using analysis services or what we call SSAS, uh, but import data. Uh, please note that I'm not saying that you should be using import data when you use analysis services. Uh, the default type of connection usually is a live connection. Um, it depends on what is your scenario, what you are trying to do. You might find it better to do live connection or import data. 
uh, I'll, I have some other videos and blog posts about import data and live connection. Make sure and check, uh, check those out and see what is the difference between those and what type of connection you should be choosing. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos of Power BI and AI. Thank you. Thank you.